Hey guys, this is Matt from Ross True Value. Uh, this evening we'll be uh, smoking a brisket. Um, we'll be using the Traeger recipe by Doug Shielding. Uh, it's just, it's just, you could just type in Texas Beef Style Brisket by Doug Shielding, and that will be the one we are using this evening. Uh, we are obviously going to be using the Traeger to uh, smoke it on. I think probably about 16 hours or so. Um, the one, the Traeger I have is the Series 20 Traeger. It's a few years older, um, but we carry the Pro uh, 34, the Pro 22. Those are the styles similar to this that do not have Wi-Fi. Uh, the new styles that we carry are um, the Pro 780 and the Pro 575, and those are both Wi-Fi enabled and have a DC motor. Um, but for this purpose, we're going to be using uh, my Traeger here. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have a full um, hopper of pellets ready to roll. I believe those are signature blend pellets uh, to get us going. You got your grill tools here, and stay tuned for what we do next. Okay, hey, we're back. Um, so this is a uh, probably about a six-pound brisket. Um, I, I like to buy the buy the pre-cut, uh, pre-trimmed ones, so I don't have to do all that myself. Um, I did take a little more fat off it here. Um, so we are going to use uh, these three products here. We're going to use the uh, Traeger coffee rub, a uh, half cup of that. We're going to use a half cup of the uh, Cosmos Texas beef rub. And we're going to use um, the Cosmos uh, reserve blend injection to inject into it. Um, at Ross's we carry all of those things, the full line of Traeger accessories. Uh, Full line of trigger rubs and sauces and Cosmos rubs and sauces. Um, so I'm gonna get going here, uh, start injecting it, and uh, I like to grill mine uh, or smoke mine. I like to smoke mine fat side down. Um, some people like to do it fat side up. I've always done it fat side down, and uh, but it, it seems to, to do the trick pretty well. I have injected the brisket um, and I've spritzed it with apple juice right here and I'll spritz the bottom and the top of the apple juice. I've let it sit for 30 minutes, so now we're going to add the um, coffee rub and the uh, Cosmos Texas beef rub. I've blended it together, a half cup of each. So I'm gonna apply this to both sides of the brisket thoroughly. And then after that, I'm gonna apply uh, two tablespoons of black pepper to just the top to kind of season it off. So we've got it uh, finished. Uh, Raising it and everything, uh, we've got all the seasonings on it. So the Traeger is heated up and it's at about 180 to 200 right now. So I'm gonna go put it on. And uh, what you're supposed to do is after the first three hours, every 30 minutes, you're supposed to spritz with apple juice. But no one's really gonna do that because it's too much work. So I'll like spritz it probably every hour to hour and a half um, for the next probably 12 hours. And we'll go from there. Follow me to the Traeger. We're at 195 right now. Start spritzing in three hours. All right, we are back, and uh, I've been spritzing uh, throughout the evening. Uh, we are at 155 temp, so we are going to uh, at 160. We're going to take it off, wrap it in uh, two sheets of aluminum foil, and then crank the heat up to 225, and then put it back on the grill until it hits 204. But in the meantime, I'm going to give it uh, one last spritz of apple juice, and we'll go from there. on the probe. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and crank it up to 225, let it start getting up there, and I'm going to take it out. And take it inside, pour some more of the 
marinade on it and then rub it. So we're gonna pour a little more of the uh, marinade on top of it, wrap it back up and stick it back in there. It's getting back up to 225. We're gonna throw this back on. First, I'm gonna clean it off a little. So this is the finished uh, product, part of the finished product. Uh, we sliced some pieces off to show you guys what it looked like. Uh, we already had it for dinner, it tastes very good. And uh, you can get all of these products besides the brisket at uh, Ross True Value in either Chickasha or El Reno. And uh, thanks for following along with us.